Thank you, Jerika. CBS News has obtained a security alert suggesting an increasing terrorist threat to New York State. The New York State Intelligence Bulletin points to Israeli operations against Hamas, and specifically that the increase in civilian casualties raises the likelihood that violent extremist threat actors will seek to conduct attacks against targets in the West, with New York State being a focus. The alert says possible targets include protests and other public events. Police in New York maintaining a highly visible security presence around potential targets like synagogues. And while there's no specific or credible threat, security for this week's Thanksgiving Day parade is at a high level with the full deployment of thousands of New York City police officers. The Intelligence Bulletin emphasizes that anti-Palestinian chatter has also been observed on multiple social media channels, with pro-Israeli advocates calling for violence against Palestinians and those who support them. The greatest threat threat comes from lone actors who take inspiration from violent rhetoric, much of it online. Today, New York's governor called on social media companies to take an aggressive approach to shut them down, Jerika. Catherine Harris, thank you for that. Is it coming to the U.S.? First Gold's Black Friday special comes to an end this week. Right now, when you open a gold IRA for every $10,000 that you spend by December the 22nd, Birch Gold will send you a free gold bar. But you have to text Brandon to 989898 to claim eligibility before Black Friday. Birch Gold can even help you convert an existing IRA or 401k into an IRA and gold for no money out of pocket. And you still get the free gold bar. Just text Brandon to 989898 today. Look, when the national debt is greater than our total GDP, it may be time to diversify away from the U.S. dollar. And Burst Gold makes it very convenient to move some of those dollars into physical gold. With an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and thousands of satisfied customers, you can count on Burst Gold to help you navigate transitioning an existing IRA or 401k into an IRA in gold. Text Brandon to 989898. Receive a free info kit on gold and claim your eligibility before Black Friday to receive free gold bars on your qualified purchases. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell to so get notifications. Anytime I go live, make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, breaking news from Niagara Falls, uh, New York. Uh, what they say is, is a terrorist attack. It could be a terrorist attempt. They're, they are investigating as such. A vehicle with two occupants full of explosives. Seems like it went through the checkpoint from the United States of America through to Ontario is what they were saying, but somehow it made a turn, ended up going towards the BP building, meaning the Border Patrol and Customs and Protection building, and it ended up hitting a barrier and exploding. Now, it appears that this vehicle was attempting to, I'm, I'm assuming, run into the Border Patrol building and, and blow it up. Now, thank God that there's multiple checkpoints which didn't allow that to happen, but according to an article at New York Post, which is slightly different than the uh, Fox News article that I'm about to play for you guys. But according to that, the vehicle was traveling upwards of 100 miles per hour when it hit the barrier, which was near a checkpoint area on the American side of the Rainbow Bridge at around 11, 15 a.m. Uh, it says, the, another thing it said, that it appeared that it was going in one direction and then it abruptly turned around and headed back towards the United States of America. So, uh, apparently it appears that it was headed towards Ontario when it suddenly made a U-turn and it headed back to the United States of America at a hundred miles per hour. And the reports are conflicting because it said they were waved through one checkpoint. Then it took off at a hundred miles per hour, hit the barrier. Now I don't know what a person is thinking that this ter these terrorists must be out of their mind on drugs or something because it doesn't seem like any action that they took would be successful. But I guess this is what they were they were trying to do, and none of the people have been identified. Now, we already know who they are, but they just haven't identified them yet. I guarantee you it ain't no black people. It ain't no white people. Y'all know who they are. This is what they do. Blowing up stuff and two of them in the car at the same time, and they think they probably somewhere thinking they're getting virgins. But anyway, wrote a clip. This McAdams is reporting that, that according to high-level police sources, the explosion was an attempted terrorist attack. A lot of explosives in the vehicle at the time. The two people who were in the car 
our deceased one Border Patrol officer was injured driving from the U.S. apparently to Canada and we're trying to drive toward the CBP building. So all bridges in the area have been closed. All government buildings in the area have been evacuated. And here's a video of a little bit of it. They don't have, they don't have a straight on shot. They just kind of got it from the side. So what's going to happen is the car is going to come into the frame from the right side of the picture and it's going to be a ball of flames. Boom, hit the barrier, and it's over. Um, I've never seen anything like this. And here's a little video from amateur footage on the inside of the building. Now the explosion is coming from the left side. So the other one, the, the camera was over here facing this way. This is facing the opposite direction. So the car would have come in from the left side if they had the video playing the entire time from this. I just exploded. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. What He's never seen anything like this. <laughs> so when you look at it, you say, okay, what was the purpose of this? What were they trying to do? Were they trying to do a terrorist attack on the Border Patrol uh, at the Border Patrol checkpoint? Could it have been some immigrants that were mad and want to blow a BP? Because, I mean, who knows, man? It's just, could, this, could this be a distraction? I I have no idea what's going on. Everything is preliminary, but the two occupants, wait till we see the, they said, if they know that there was multiple explosions in the car, they must know that there's other paraphernalia in the car, right? You see some, I think it was, I think it was Muslims. That, that, let me just say that. Can I just say it? If you see some Allah Akbar apparel in there, then you, then you pretty much know what they were doing, what they stood for and what they, what was behind this. Could it be another group of people that were, that were terrorists? Yes, it could be. Every terrorist in the, in the world is not a, a Muslim. But it seems like that's the M.O. of people in that region and people with that ideology is self-exploding and different things like that. Um, I guess Timothy McVeigh was an example of the other explosion, but that was one person in world history that did that. Uh, so it's not likely. But we'll see. The FBI, hopefully, they disclose who it really was that did this, and we can get to the bottom of it. But I just wanted to share that with y'all, man. Breaking news. Look like it's a terrorist attack on the border of the U.S. and Canada. It seemed like they were going from the United States of America, which is interesting. Going up into Canada, made a U-turn to try to hit the BP building and was very, very um, stupid about it and unsuccessful. Anyway, go to the next video.